Uh, welcome back. Uh, my name is Bob and uh, this is my quad project. Uh, I basically put a, a little video together to kind of help people that who might decide to build this project so that it makes a little bit more sense. This time I'm just going to do a quick look-see and explain about the uh, mounting plate for the boom. Uh, the original one was set up for inch and a half uh, PVC pipe and I decided that I was going to make an adjustable boom and I'll cover that later in another episode is basically so I can expand uh, the uh, distance between the reflector and the driven element to increase the uh, reflectability basically of the signal uh, so, so you get more signal coming out the front less going out the back and uh, Pretty much that's it. Like I say, I'll explain that on another episode, but I just wanted to show you this mounting plate. Originally I had it drilled out for the inch and a half U-bolts, and these are the holes there. Uh, the two inch, which basically are two and a half inch U-bolts, they're uh, three eighths inch, they're a little bit bigger diameter, a little bit harder to work with, but the aluminum plate is great because it's great workability. It, it, it's fantastic. So I just moved the U-bolts in just a little bit so uh, that they didn't go in the same holes as the other ones. And I put those in place. Just turn this over so you can see. Uh, it's pretty solid. Uh, these U-bolts are pretty rugged. They're made out of stainless and I did all that in stainless so nothing would rust. I've worked on old antennas that were put together with less than uh, good quality uh, hardware and within a few years they're rusted, you've got to fight to get them apart, and I didn't want that, so I spent a few extra bucks, bought the stainless, uh, the aluminum mounting plate, which is a quarter of an inch thick. It's probably overkill, but I want this thing to be rugged, and I wanted it to stand up. And the other thing I don't have on here, these, these bolts hold the mast in place, but I don't have any place for the upright. Uh, you know, this is the boom, and then because the mast goes up and down, uh, this is just an example. I have this U-bolt and this would actually fit here on this side of it and there's plenty of room on the back side. The, uh, the mass goes up through with one here, one there. It's centered and pretty well balanced. Uh, and this is an adjustable boom. And one of the things I wanted to mention, I don't know if I mentioned it on the website, but uh, if you peak this thing it's in it. If you've got like maybe two inches that you want to uh, expand this thing, uh, once you figure out the distance you've expanded it, uh, then compensate on the other end, on the driven end and the reflector end, so that this thing stays balanced. You don't want to expand the weight two inches on this side uh, and have it putting a stress on that. So it's nice to keep everything balanced. And, and basically, if you do that, if you're just making a little bit of an adjustment on it, Probably won't matter, but uh, if you change it a couple of inches, uh, you might want to just pull this end out an inch and that end out an inch, uh, tighten up the hose clamp so everything is solid, so this antenna is, is perpendicular the way it belongs, and, and it should be good to go. Uh, I've had a lot of fun doing this. I have a, a couple more uh, episodes that I want you to take a look at uh, about this adjustable boom because this wasn't the original. The original was a fixed 60 inches of solid boom, uh, no adjustability. I like to be able to peak things up. Uh, hams that, that like to play with their uh, equipment, uh, they enjoy it. That's part of the fun of, of building something yourself. You get to make these adjustments and try to get the best out of it that you possibly can. Uh, so I'll explain a little bit more about this adjustable boom in the next episode, but I just wanted to show you this mounting plate. Uh, it's one of the few things that isn't PVC. Like I think on the website, uh, I told you that it's a plumber's dream because basically it's it's all PVC pipe except for the uh, fiberglass rods and this mounting plate structure and the little uh, project box. So I hope you get a chance to build this thing. If uh, if you like to play, it's a good project. Probably two people could put this thing together. On a weekend, once everything, the pots and everything are in place, the wire is all measured, uh, it, it, it's, a good, it's a good weekend project, and uh, it helps to have a second person. 
I struggled with this thing. My wife did help me because I have a little problem uh, once in a while, but uh, it's an enjoyable thing. I, I just can't believe how much I use this radio. So uh, come back and, and take a look at the other two episodes concerning how this adjustable boom works. And uh, I think that'll about do it. So, you know, enjoy.